All right, guys. I want to show you some more PSVR games. I've got a couple, a few new ones lately, and um, the one I want to show now is Beat Saber. So I'm gonna get the headphones and the headset ready. Now um, <clears throat> I was, I've got these move controllers that are uh, kind of essential for the the VR experience. Uh, these motion controllers and so I was looking up lists of what are the best games that utilize the move controllers because you don't need them for every game um, you can use the regular dual shot controller for quite a few games and you can use the aim controller which is like a gun you know, and then I've got like the racing wheel for the steering games, or the race, the <laughs> steering wheel for the racing games. And anyway, uh, the move controllers are really, really cool. I wanted to find the best games for that, and I keep seeing on the list Beat Saber, and my cousin was talking me, telling me that I should check out Beat Saber. And I've looked at videos of it before. I didn't think it seemed all that interesting to me. It's a rhythm game, and uh, basically. A lot of people say that it's like the Guitar Hero of this generation, and I love Guitar Hero, um, but basically like your, the levels are songs, and so you play through a song, and in Beat Saber, uh, each move controller is like a lightsaber, and there are these like boxes that are coming at you, and you have to slice them the right direction at the right time, and you do it to the beat of the game, and uh, there's, the, there's higher difficulties where they'll come at you faster, and the, the patterns get more intense and um, so that's, that's kind of the extent of what I knew about it uh, but I kept seeing people suggesting it and then what really sold me on it was I started seeing a lot of people saying that it's a really good workout it's actually really physical and uh, I always need more of that <laughs> I need to not be so uh, you know sitting around all the time. I need to be up and moving and so I thought maybe this could be like a catalyst to kind of get my heart pumping, my blood flowing and <clears throat> you know make me want to get out and do something. Uh, you know go on a walk or do more exercising. Anyways it is and it's a really great game and um, there's also walls that you have to avoid. You have to move to the left or to the right or you have to duck. And so you actually end up you end up doing like squats basically because you're ducking to avoid this wall. And there's a lot to it. There are bombs that you can hit, and um, you know if you don't hit the boxes the right way, <coughs> you you know you lose points or you lose your energy, and you can end up you know forfeiting the game because of it. There's lots of different types of stages and different. Uh, ways you can edit the games to where it's easier for you or it's harder for you. So <clears throat> it really is one of the, the better games with the move controllers. There are a lot of good ones though, but um, I am loving this and I've started playing that through a campaign this morning and um, I'll just I'll try to get into it. So hopefully the mic will hold up and stuff. I'll be moving around. I might, I don't want to trip over the cord. Oh, <clears throat> the one thing for the PSVR is you really got to have room for it, and I don't exactly have the best room, but I make do with what I got here, and it works, so I've got so much cluttered already. I kind of got to get close to the screen here in my room. Oops. Okay. And I say it all the time that watching on the screen and watching it, you know, having it in VR is completely different experiences. Um, on the screen, you know, you'll just see boxes coming at you that I'm hitting. But with, with the VR, you know, it's all around you. And the music that you're playing with is kind of like club music. So there's this like club feel of all these lights and stuff around you. And, and it's really, it's a really cool, uplifting experience and uh, 
it is a workout like i said a lot of time i'll play until you know i'm starting to sweat and there's like condensation on the headset and stuff i think i'll continue through some of the campaign it's getting a little bit tougher but i'll probably be able to handle it for a little while at first i just started testing with um basically just playing individual songs just just checking it out I don't know how loud it'll, you'll be able to hear it on the TV. I want to try to get it up a little bit if I can here. It's probably plenty loud, I don't know. Oh. Anyway, I love this. I'm excited to play right now, so. You have the, the blue and the red, hopefully you can see them on the screen, and they, they turn into lightsabers, basically lights will come out of them. Not like this, this is just like a pointer for the menu. Um, over here, you know, if you're left-handed you can swap colors and, and do different things over here too. Each box has arrows on them and you're supposed to slice the box in the direction that it tells you. Now I'll just get it started. In this mission, you must reach the specified combo number. So I don't want to... If you miss one, you break the combo. I guess I can hit them in any direction I want. Oh! Okay. Usually the direction stays, but it's moving... It's, it's leaving the boxes now. I just got to remember when it shows me. So yeah, this game gets tough. Dang. Having a little bit of drifting issues where I'm standing. It's kind of tough, so I'm just kind of trying to focus on <laughs> doing this. Hmm. Dang, that same color. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> oh, that's not good. You know what? I'm just going to go to a regular song. Let's just go to a song. I'll play. I'll do this one easy. I'll do this first song on easy to give you an idea what it's like. See how... It has the direction where I have to slice it to the right and then down until to, or to the right down 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 up up my mom played this and I was pretty impressed by how good she was able to do but she had a little bit of trouble slicing up through the boxes and playing this one easy it can seem pretty easy but it gets way harder I kinda need to be standing in a better spot it's kinda messing me up a little bit if you if you hit the walls it kills you immediately See, it got me where the blue was on the left there, and I didn't catch that. I'm getting some, probably some of the worst drifting issues I've had. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of a computer monitor behind me. It's never been this bad. I'll try to shut the computer monitor off and see what happens.
This game is fun though, and it's challenging. That's what I want. I want fun games. So I was really wrong about this game. I didn't think that I would enjoy it. I don't know what is going on with this drifting here. Or maybe it's because of the light on the camera. My webcam, I don't know. I've never had issues like this. So I shut off the computer monitor to see if that would help. Um, so that was easy on that. I want to go ahead and uh, I'll jump up to hard. I beat it on hard. It's challenging, but same song. It kind of makes you want to dance along with it to keep the beat <laughs> when you're playing it. I don't seem to be having the drifting issues after I shut the computer monitor off. Yeah, I aim a little bit, yeah. I don't know, this is weird. Maybe I was too far up. Darn. See, so there it switched the colors, so you gotta like cross your hands or however you wanna do it. I haven't had any walls overhead yet. Yeah, so they have VR for computers, which I guess is supposed to be a lot better, but it's way more expensive. You gotta buy, you know, an expensive computer that can handle it, and then the VR equipment itself, like the Oculus Rift. But this game came out for that first, and uh, they say... You know, the sensitivity and stuff is supposed to be better for that. Um, so the PSVR is more affordable. Uh, but it's, it works fine for me. I'm going to go up to Expert and try this. The same song. I don't know if I've done Expert yet. Uh, it's getting faster. Oh, there's a bomb. I hit it. It's throwing bombs in there now. Oh, that's weird. Oh, oh. Oh, I failed instantly. <laughs> wow, those... Uh, I'm not even dressed properly, really. To, I need to have, like, gym shorts on because... I mean, I have to, like, jump from the left to the right. I'll give her a shot again. I'm going to get tangled up in all these cords right now. No! Oh. Oh my. Oh. Now that's going to take some practice. Forget that. Um. Got the different songs to choose from. Let's try this on hard. It's kind of random. Oh man.
There's the overhead wall. There. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> I think I've already beaten this one on hard, so I'm kind of familiar with it. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. So I don't think it shows on the main screen, but um, there's like a health bar on mine, or energy. So I know when it runs out that it's game over. And mine's really low right now, unfortunately. Oh no. I don't know why I'm having horrible drifting issues. It's never been this bad every time I played it. Okay. And when I mean drift, it's like, okay, I'm having the controllers, I got the lightsabers, and like, they'll glide to the right or the left, not where I'm holding them, and it just completely messes you up. And so the PlayStation uses this, uh, the camera and light to track it. And I think the, the VR for the computers uses like a different technology, maybe. Oh. Each time I'm hitting the boxes, the controller vibrates, so it feels like you're hitting something. Oh, man. All right, let's just go down to hard or to normal, I guess, difficulty. <laughs> and then I should be able to complete that easily. Oh, come on. Oh. I'm already getting warmed up. I'll probably end the video after this, but I just wanted to show an example of what this game's like, talk about it a little bit. Oh my. The patterns and stuff can get crazy. There's crazy stuff I've seen and who knows about the stuff I haven't even seen yet. It's very advanced. Oh, Doug. It's like, um, Ducking and doing squats, but I'm like enjoying it so much. I'm not really thinking about it. Hmm. I don't really want to end this, but video will probably take forever to upload, so. Um, over here is some more options. You got no fail, no obstacles, no bombs. Slower song. Or you can have a faster song. Disappearing arrows, which is what I was doing earlier. This is hard. Battery energy. And insta fail. I beat it so there's fireworks going off. Man, this game is so addicting. You know what? I want to play another song. I don't care. <laughs> Let's see. I'll try this. Caribbean crabby 
that song. <laughs> Oh, crap. And you really gotta slice through these boxes. Like when my mom was playing, sometimes she was kind of trying to do it too delicately or something. Not really cutting through them. You gotta make these precise motions. Oh, dang it. <laughs> oh, that tracking is killing me. <laughs> it was like my uh, my right stick just totally disappeared. I don't know if it's the camera or what's going on here. I think it is the camera. It needs to be moved over a little bit more over here. I think that is why. So, <sighs> screw it. Let's restart it. Whoa. <laughs> Now the headset's not on my head very comfortably. Seems better now. I think I was just out of the field of the camera. And see, with like the Oculus Rift for the computer, I think it has like multiple cameras. You kind of surround the room with cameras, so it's got a better tracking. A lot of ducking in this song. <sighs> My heart's pumping now. I've been ducking so many times. I already played this this morning. I'm going to be playing this game a lot. Oh, man. Dang it. And did a little professional wrestling training before, and like every training session when we started, we do like a hundred squats. That was awesome. I miss that. Wish I would get in the routine of doing that myself. It was like 10 squats per person. So if there was like 10 people, if there was like 11, it'd be like 110 squats. So anyway, I'm going to end this video. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll record more of this game in the future. Oh.